So last season was a, a great experience. Great year for the program. Obviously, we made the national final, and we just came up a little short, but uh, it was a completely new group of players, pretty much. Players from all over the world. And obviously, in, in a two-year experience here at a, at, a, at a JUCO, you really have to come together and come together quick because you don't have much time to do it. Um, even the college soccer season, really, you're only talking a couple weeks in August and then September, October, and national championships are in November. So things have to come over come together very, very quickly. So we had guys from Brazil, we had guys from Chile, from Costa Rica, from England, and everybody plays differently and their culture is different, you know. Even these guys are rooming together, they're going to the cafeteria together. Every part of their lives is different here than it was back home. So it's not just the soccer part, which is different as well. So that, it, it was kind of a, a natural transition for these guys. It, it went very quickly. Everyone got along very, very well. And we also blended our styles together as, as individual players into a team concept. And, you know, it worked out It worked out very, very well. And the work ethic was great from all the guys. The attitude was great. We all pulled for each other. To be fair, that's one of the, the best seasons that, you know, as a coach, I really, really enjoyed it because the players were so easy to work with. And this is what we're hoping to do every year. So if you look at last year compared to this year, what I try to do is not look at that because last year's team is its own separate entity with its own separate personalities and abilities. And it's funny because the guys come into precinct, coach, do you think we're as good as the team from last year? And I'm like, don't compare yourself to last year. It, you're different. And different doesn't mean better or worse. It's up to you now, and we'll look back, and history will tell did we do as well as last year's team. And who knows? We don't really focus on the result. The result is out of our control. The only thing we can focus on is what are we doing today to get better? And as we do that, and we go into every game, we go into the game, we play as hard as we can, we focus in on that moment, and at the, when, when the whistle blows at the end of the game, if we won, we won. All we can control is, is how we do, and that's what I tell these guys for the season. So individual players come in. We have so many special kids that, that are coming in, and so many kids that actually have developed. I mean, we, we have uh, a local player from, from Westchester, Marky, who was, who was um, working on the reserve team last year, and he's improved so much and physically has improved, and now he's... Uh, on the starting varsity team, and, and he, he's been great for us so far in preseason. A lot of the guys, we had about six guys from the reserve team last year who, who have stepped up, Levinsky and Rickard and these guys, and huge, huge improvements that I've seen already. So I, I've been really pleased with the local guys. Uh, as far as the international new guys coming in, uh, we, we have uh, Javier Rodriguez from, from Spain who actually came in last winter, and I, I, I pick him to be a big impact guy. Um, there, there's so many special guys that are here. We have a Right to Dream um, student from Ghana. Right to Dream is a really famous academy in Ghana and Africa, and he's been, um, he's with us this year. Phenomenal person, phenomenal player. Um, if you look around the country, a lot of the Right to Dream guys are some of the best players in the country, NCAA Division I. Uh, so we're, we're excited to have him with us. We have returning players. We have... Uh, Gabriel Machado, first team All-American, who's going to St. John's now in January. He'll be our captain this year. He's a phenomenal leader. He's, he's an incredible kid. Uh, Felipe Mendez, who played at MPSL this summer in, 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 in Connecticut. And he, he's worked and worked and worked, and he looks fantastic for us. Uh, it's Kozak, our goalkeeper from Connecticut, from Norwalk, Connecticut. Uh, returner. He, he did so well for us last year. So we have a lot of the strengths of last year and some, some, some guys who came up from the reserve team who have improved so much and we have some new internationals in and it, it's, it's looking very, very good so far. It's a different group. The ex 